Remember when DeAndre Jordan was held hostage by his own teammates inside his house? Here's a hint, it's when Paul Pierce learned what an emoji is. Jordan had verbally committed to the Mavs in free agency, but his Clippers teammates stayed in his house until the minute he could sign. In the NBA, it's only a done deal when you sign your name. One of the lesser known instances of this is Anthony Carter. Carter was a bench player for the Miami Heat who didn't even play 20 minutes a game in the 2002-03 season. But he was set to be paid the same amount as a young LeBron the next year. That never happened. A careless mistake kicked Carter off the Heat unexpectedly. It doesn't seem like a major NBA move, but it was the best possible thing that could have happened for Miami. Without that costly mishap, they don't create the Shaq D. Wade duo. They don't win the title in 2006. This is a Clutch Points original documentary on how a mistake with Anthony Carter's contract led to a Heat championship, and why Carter continued to cash NBA paychecks until 2020, 14 years after the costly mishap. Anthony Carter is not a household name. In four years with the Heat, he averaged just five points a game. For his fifth year, Carter had a player option built into his contract. He could exercise that option and return to the Heat. If he did, he'd get paid $4.1 million in the upcoming 0304 season. Or he could opt out and become a free agent. For reference, only two other players on the Heat would be making more than $4 million that season. For perspective, the top picks of the previous two drafts, LeBron and Yao Ming, were both set to make $4 million that year. Considering Carter was a five points a game bench player, no other team would come close to giving him that kind of money. Opting in and securing the bag with the Heat was a smart move. So Carter chose to exercise his player option. But decisions mean nothing until you put pen to paper. In Carter's case, it was his agent, Bill Duffy, who needed to send in the paperwork to the Heat to make it official. Except for one thing, Duffy never sent the paperwork. The deadline passed and Carter was officially a free agent. He must have been outraged. Duffy was able to find a deal for Carter with the Spurs at the league minimum, which was about $700,000 a year. Compared to what he should have had, that's almost $3 million lost because of a simple mistake. The Heat, though, couldn't have been happier. Saving an unexpected $4 million now opened up a new door for them. They were able to offer a massive contract to a free agent they had their eye on, Lamar Odom. At the time, Odom was a promising 23-year-old forward who had put up about 16 points a game in his four years with the Clippers. He was a restricted free agent, and the Heat needed an enticing offer to steal him away from LA. With their newfound money, the Heat were able to dangle six years and $63 million in front of Odom. It was too much for the Clippers, and Odom left for South Beach. He had a solid season in 0304, and he and budding star Dwayne Wade led the Heat to the second round of the playoffs. But in the summer of 2004, the Lakers were looking to unload Shaquille O'Neal and the Heat had a prime young swingman they could offer. With Odom as a centerpiece, the Heat were able to acquire Shaq for Odom, Karan Butler, Brian Grant, and a future first rounder. The Heat had to be thrilled that they could snag a former MVP while keeping their own star, D. Wade. Wade and Shaq made the playoffs the next year, and they finally won it all in 2006. That championship was only possible with Shaq being the Robin to Wade's Batman and Shaq only came over because of the Lamar Odom deal. And Odom only chose the Heat because of the money. The same money the Heat had gift wrapped from Anthony Carter. Carter, meanwhile, was injured for most of that 0304 season with the Spurs. He then bounced around the league for years before retiring in 2012. His agent, Billy Duffy, did try to right his wrong though. Duffy agreed to pay Carter the $4.1 million that he missed out on. It's uncertain how much Duffy paid him each year, but Carter said the payments would keep coming until 2020. If that's divided up equally, it would be around $240,000 that Carter would receive each year long after he retired. Duffy's mistake was a rare mishap that NBA agents usually don't make, but the Heat sure aren't complaining. There are ripple effects to every decision made in the NBA, and sometimes a small case of forgetfulness can lead to a team winning its first championship in franchise history.